start now. There we go. <laughs> at least give you a little bit less work. <laughs> yeah, at least I'll have to chop up the. Uh, uh, let's see here. We got Hexat Player yeah. One still. Man, I'm just wore out still. <laughs> I feel you. All right, so we're in losers finals now. Oh yeah. Losers finals. Ooh. All right. And this is definitely another matchup where like. Uh, you don't want to be off stage. Yeah, you at really all. don't want to be off stage in this. It's, it's terrible. I cry for Ness. I cry too. This is this is just horrible for Ness. Just such a susceptible recovery, and it's such a long startup too. That's that's one of the main things. Bayonetta can just like almost run across the stage and yeah. go out and up to you while you're trying to recover. It's like, oh, you're trying to recover. I'm too coming. bad. <laughs> I'm over here, but I'll yeah. still get you. It's it's insane. So strong start off here from Lorenzo, just not letting. Uh, Hexat get any of his stuff started right now. Yeah, Hexat needs to establish his pace. Get yeah. His momentum going. He's definitely, like, so far it seems like he's kind of been panicking. Like, he doesn't really know what to do against Bayonetta. And he's kind of just been throwing out hitboxes. But I think once he gets his footing a bit more, we'll hopefully see a bit uh, more grounded of gameplay. Right. And, you know, like we said earlier, Ness, you gotta control the pace. Uh oh. Oh, this is bad. Uh, it's not gonna get the edge guard. Catches him right there though, so he doesn't have a jump. Oh! Oh, clinks. Yeah, that's the thing. Like Bayonetta's uh, down smash has such low priority. I know like, that eats Lucas's up B though. Yeah, because well, it's because his is like a multi hit, mm -hmm. and then um, Ness's is just one strong hit. Okay. So that's why it beats it out. Oh. Oh, he's gonna get. I think he caught his jump. Oh, he tried to get the four there. And one option that he does have against Ness's recovery is just Witch Time. You oh, yeah. Just like, just like any counter, counter character, Yo. you can just go down there and do it. It's a bit trickier on Ness, though, with uh, Witch Time, just because of like the fact that his hitbox is probably so active, I think. Down air is going to not quite take it. Almost crushed. But that'll take it. That's going to take it. Those bullets have a surprising amount of knockback, especially when you're like that far off stage. Oh, yeah. You have to respect that option. Ripped, yeah. Even at low percentages. Yeah. It sends you out. Because it has enough. so much base knockback. The thing about it is, though, like, sure, she can do it. It's basically like you can air dodge it for free, but then you just have to recover low against Bayonetta. So it's like. Yeah, it sets it's, you It's up. a really good just... pressure tool for Bayonetta. Like, you shouldn't really be getting stocks with it. But it like forces people to recover low, and Bayonetta is so good at covering that. And that's where Bayonetta wants you. Yeah, know? she wants you just down there, like below yeah. ledge. So it just sets up perfect situation. So if you hit, you get the stock. If not, you got a good setup. Going. Yep. It's just it's really good is overall. Too good a character. <laughs> She's pretty good. If her neutral was better, uh, she would be too good. But it's not, so it's okay. But, you know, it's um, they can't make her the best. Yeah, they did, though. Somewhere. They did make her the best <laughs> for a while. Alright, so he went back to the Kirby switch. We'll see if he's um, gonna do it with Kirby. <clears throat> this is Hexat. My first time seeing Hexat, though. So. Yeah, this is my first time, too. So I'm not sure if he's, he's, not, a... he's not a bad player for like this being his first time out, as far as I can tell. Right, yeah. Like, he, has a, he, has, he likes to throw out a bit too many, like, risky options, but... His timing on everything is pretty good, and right, his spacing yeah. is pretty all right too. So and he knows um, he knows when to punish. Yeah, yeah, he got he has so. his punishes and stuff down. He just yeah. sometimes gets a bit. Oh, that's a stock. Oh, man. Sometimes just gets a bit like overzealous with his um, attempts yeah. to punish. Which that uh, starting out that can be an easy problem to fall into. Yeah. Because you just you just want to hit people. You just right. want to push buttons. But sometimes you just don't get to do that. You know he can improve though, because you know as a oh, player yeah. he's seeing this stuff. So. Yeah, for sure. Like it That's, took me a while to catch. Oh, it took. That, so. I'm pretty yeah. sure it took everyone. I mean, I used to just like push buttons too. Everyone yeah. did. <laughs> so yeah, I hope to see him come out more often. Yeah, definitely. We've been getting a lot of new people out here at RTC. It's been pretty cool. Yeah, I, lo I love seeing the scene grow. That's great. Yeah. Um, there, there's. Oh, okay, yeah, it's no kind of tricky. Like. You have to have a lot of time to set up the down smash as Bayonetta. No tech, and that's going to be this uh, game. You can hold the A button. <laughs> <laughs> you can hold that A button. Go to game three. Yep. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> Man, Kirby should not be getting edge guarded like that. <laughs> well, actually, Kirby is actually pretty easy to edge guard. Yeah. He has a lot of jumps, but he doesn't really have much many options off stage. I think he just messed up when he upbeat and didn't clean uh, snap ledge. 
Well, yeah, because the thing about his is that it doesn't snap. Like, you can't auto-snap like you can with a lot of characters. So characters with the down air, like, uh, like Toon Link, for example, are very yeah, good yeah. at uh, edgeguarding Kirby. Because you can just jump up at ledge and down air. Same with Ike. You can, like, get free edge guards on them if they have to up B. Because they, gra- they can't sweet spot ledge, so dare will always work if you time it correctly. And it's got enough disjoint to beat it out. So now we're going to see Toon Link versus Bayonetta. And it looks like Hexa, Hexa has a plethora of characters he's comfortable with. Yeah, definitely. Uh, now, um, he's going to be judged by the Toon Link himself. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, this is definitely a matchup that Lorenzo is pretty familiar with at this point. We've, oh, yeah. We've played we it a few times. This matchup. <laughs> I hope he knows this matchup. <laughs> oh, that was a quick match. Yeah. Ooh, okay. L smash. He does the. He does what you do. Yeah, dude. L smash is. <laughs> L smash is super good at cut, especially bayonetta landings, because the way that bayonetta's specials work is that the more specials she does in midair, the more lag she has. Uh-huh. So Toon Link's really good at falling out of bayonetta combos. So what you can do is like when you're getting comboed, just fall out of it, and then when she falls, she's just stuck in lag, so you can forward smash for free. Get that free up smash. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, he gets hit. Oh, oh. Though. Okay, I guess only the bullets hit there. That should be. Oh, not quite a stock. Try and call out air dodge there. That'll take uh, stock down. Air's gonna take the stock. Yep. And what you saw there at the end, like after Toon Link had lost his stock, is one of the signs of knowing the matchup. Whenever there's a boomerang out, um, even when Toon Link dies, the boomerang still follows Toon Link. Uh-huh. So a lot of people will just get hit by the boomerang as as <laughs> Toon Link's dead. So, like the fact that he was able to avoid that shows that he's probably he he knows this play. How yeah, this I character works a bit. Yeah. <laughs> like, I Ooh. Too weak, too weak. That's probably it. Yeah. That's it right there. We ain't coming back from that. All right, Muse. Go show him the real two link.